Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I just want to say personal readings are on hold right now. Uh, my daughters went with the kids to bargaining. And my two daughters were going down on one crazy carpet. And I guess they were flying. They got turned around backwards. And they hit a big bump. And my daughter, my oldest one, uh, banged her head really bad. And is now suffering a, con a concussion. So uh, for the rest of the week, I'll be um, over there babysitting my grandchildren. I won't have time to do personal readings. I have three left. I'll get those done tomorrow night. Other than that, please, um, I cannot do any more until sometime next week. I'll let you know. I'll let you know in the description box below when I'll be able to um, start with the personal readings again, okay? But right now, I just don't have the time. There's too much happening. She'll be okay. Uh, thank God she'll be okay. But I told her, I said, you're not a kid anymore. <laughs> you know, we, we get thinking that we can still do things that we used to do, you know. Anyways, we are going to do lines. What does your person feel about you? What are they doing? We're going to spy on your person. And we're going to do it with lines. Now, those of you who are new here and you don't know what lines are, it's picking up three or four energies and uh, just putting out lines and picking up energy and just finding out what we can get on your person. Okay, so let's start. You'll catch on as we go along. Let's go. Lines. Spying. Spying lines. <laughs> let's go. Let's pick up the first energy that comes to us. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Using the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Cards. Thank you, Strawberry Spirit. Loves them. I love them. Let's go. Let's pick up on an energy. Oh, okay. So the first person that we're, first energy we're picking up on is someone wants to come and talk. Someone who left you for calmer waters. But they want to talk now. They want some communication with you. This is a tough nut. They love you. They do. They want to come in and start again. Reunite. They love you. They do. But they're a tough nut. They are strong. They're determined. I've got a Taurus here and an Aries. And I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, prominent Taurus. They want to come in. They want to talk to you. They want to offer you a date. Let's go out and have a drink. Let's go watch a movie. Let's just sit here on the couch and watch a movie. It's COVID time, you know. Do you want to come over and watch a movie or do you want me to come over there? You know, that kind of thing. And then the Bastardo comes in. Okay, so here's the Bastardo. Very deceiving energy. Deceptive. This is an energy that comes up there. You have no idea what they're about to say or what they're about to do. Let's find out what the Bastardo has to say about this situation of them coming back. The Bastardo is saying that this person... Mm, it's feeling very, very sad. Ten wands on their back. Really feeling burdened. They want to come back. They want to talk. They've been pretty freaking sad since they've been gone. Why? Well, they miss someone who took care of them. Someone took care of them. It's almost like they can't take care of themselves. They leave you, they fall apart. You took care of them. So now they want to make that decision to come back. But there could have been a reason here. 
Yep, yes indeedy do. Tickety poo, spirit. The reason that um, you probably maybe have said a few words to them and they might not have been pleasant, but the reason you said it is because they fight stability. This is someone who's probably a big drinker and you tell them, like, you gotta cut down on the drinking, you know, like, it's just drinking too much and you're getting a little bit silly, you know, or you get argumentative or something, but you probably had a bit of a fight because of their stability. <clears throat> but there's a lot of love here. This is a whole brand new beginning in love. New offer coming in. So line one. And we have a Pisces. And the potential for this to work. Maybe they're ready to cut back on addictions. Maybe. It appears that way. A lot of potential here. Got a Pisces. Got a Taurus. Got um Aries Leo Sedge. We've got um Gemini Libra Aquarius. And we have all cups, all water signs. But prominent, we've got Pisces. And we have Taurus. Oh, and with the star, sorry. We have Aquarius prominent. That was line one. Let's clean the cards, get the energy out. Maximus, how you doing over there, buddy? Poor Maximus. He looks so sad. I've just been sitting here and doing personal readings the whole day yesterday and the whole day today. And I guess he's feeling kind of neglected. Cats, I gave him some catnip, and uh, he's not even interested in that. Lazy, lazy. Line two. Let's see who we can pick up, who we can spy on. Line two. Come on. Line two, let's get her on, and let's get her done. Let's go. Line two, let's see who we can spy on. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Well, the cards are just, I don't know when to stop. The cards are like, wow, they're really good. Okay. I'll stop there. Holy crap. Okay. Um, uh, your person, uh, line two, this energy I'm picking up, your person hasn't gone anywhere. Um, this, this is, um, this is loss. This is a wish fulfillment, but it's it's a loss. It's, it's a missed opportunity here. And that's the way they're looking at it. This is a missed opportunity. They haven't gone anywhere. Um, but there might, hold on to your heart, there might have been a three. But since they've been with the three, uh, it was, well, they look back now and they think, well, hmm, they were, line two was the one for me. You know, it's, well, and it's, they feel a soulmate connection. They're thinking about someone from the past. They want communication. Now, if it's, it doesn't have to be someone that was off with somebody. Could have just been a person sticking their nose in there and causing trouble for you guys to break up. It could have just been a nosy nose and stein. You know what I mean? But here I have a soulmate connection, lovers. Look at the potential. Damn, look at the potential. Now, I could be talking to a Pisces. Could have shared a home together. Could have been talking about getting a home together. This is love. This is joy. This is happiness. This is kids. This is real estate. And could be talking to a Pisces here. Someone that's emotional, someone who's loving and kind and um, just unconditional love. Someone who's a little bit psychic, someone who may be a high priestess. But there was something here. That's the devil. 
devil was there. Can I not tell you the devil? Just, that's a busy freaking guy, man. I'm telling you. That's a busy guy. But the potential for this thing to have worked was great. Uh, so what they did was they shot their mouth off about something. Yeah, they said some words to you. And caused you a hell of a lot of heartache. And they took off. And But you know what? It's either someone was whispering in their ear about something. And it seemed like the fight was over nothing. It seemed like it was just over nothing. It just, like, what the hell is wrong with you? And then they storm out. And, and you left you standing there. Like, did that just happen? You know, that kind of thing. Because I think someone might have been whispering in their ear. And they just wanted to start to fight. They just wanted to cause trauma to leave. Ass. And there it is. It's, you know, they, they took their gift or their, their gift of the tongue and they took their, their, their bullshit elsewhere. Options. They, they took their, their sweet talk somewhere else. But they're freaking sorry now though, I'll tell you that much. Because now they're sitting there like, oh, oh my God, you know, like, what did I do? Yeah, mm. that's karma. That's karma. Yeah, yeah, now spying on you. Honest to God. Now spying on you. And looking at you as the three ships that came in. Looking at you as, oh my God, you're the one. Now wanting equal give and take. That's what this person is doing. Yeah, they just, they just freaking left. Fuck. They just left. They just walked, left you in the freaking cold. Left you waiting. And now there they are. Look. There's a nightmare moving in. There you go. There you go. Well, hold on. Do I see? I, you know what? Truthfully, I see an offer coming in, but I don't really see. Um, oh, Jesus, it's a power couple. You guys are a power couple. And there's an offer in the middle here. Both very passionate people. Both very strong. Very strong people here. I have Aquarius. I have Pisces. Of course I have Pisces. I have uh, Sag. <laughs> and a Virgo. All signs are here, but those are prominent. So, well, they caused a big stink. And for absolutely, it seemed like just no reason. No freaking reason. And then they took off. And now sitting there thinking about you. Spying on you, too. Thinking about you. I'm like, oh, geez, that's a missed opportunity. You think? Okay, line three. Let's see if we can pick up another energy. What are they doing? Line three. Let's pick up another energy. Let's go. Let's give them a shuffle. Let's clean the energies out of them. And try again. Line three. You don't have to pick one of these. Just watch them all. Whatever resonates. You don't have to pick them. And I know my strawberry is going to be right there. Putting those in the timestamps for you. <laughs> but you don't have to pick a line. It's not pick a line. It's spine on energy. And I pick up so many energies that I just call it lines. Okay. Line three, let's go. Let's get her on, let's get her done. Let's see a third energy that I can pick up on. Holy crap. Whoa. Oof, 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 oof. We've got an energy very, very, very sad. Extremely heartbroken. A soulmate. Extremely heartbroken over this person. 
thinking of someone from the past, a soulmate, wanting to talk to them. Man, a lot of pain there. A lot of pain there. Wanting to bring in an offer of equal give and take. An offer, equal give and take. I think this person might have been a bit of a brute. They might have taken a lot from you. There might not have been equal give and take when they were with you. Maybe someone, maybe a bit stubborn. Very passionate though, but maybe a bit stubborn. Could be rebel without a cause, all set in their way. Yeah, here it comes. Well, wow, this person's heavy laden. Holy crap, this person's heavy laden, but they're not going to tell you. So what I got here is they're, um, they're coming in passionately and they're going to come in. Uh, do you want to get together? Uh, how are you doing? You know, how are you doing? You want to get together and, you know, let's, let's have a talk or, you know, that kind of a thing. Uh, message is going to be back to back. Back to back. This is going to be non-stop, whereas this person might have been a wee bit of a ghoster at one time. And not now. Not when they come back, they won't be. There's going to be a lot of communication. And they're really feeling unbalanced here because there's a lot of pain. This person really hurts. Uh, there's no one else there. Just them. They're feeling a lot of pain, but they're not telling anybody. Holding on to it very tightly, not letting it go, can't let it go, and had to come in to see you. You thought they had options, <laughs> so <laughs> you might have thrown them out. Um, you might have drawn the sword, you might have thought maybe they was cheating. And taking the love elsewhere, you've you got options, you're, you're off cheating with somebody down the street. Uh, you might have drawn the sword out against them, I have a Libra here. Libra and Taurus, uh, spying on you, and I really think that maybe you're spying on them to see if there is a three. I think you might be spying on them too, to see if there is a three. Uh, this really feels like an ending, I need another card. Mm, here we go, okay, line three. Right now, it feels very, very painful for them. It could be both of you. But for them, definitely, it's very, very painful. And they're praying that it's not over. Because I got them wanting here to celebrate again. Reuniting. Bring a small gift. The gift of the tongue. Sweet words to the ears. And some truth. Wow, this person really learned a lesson. Wanting to bring some truth, wanting to talk about things. And uh, this is a this soulmate connection. This is a this is a man who is a boy. This is a man who could be a little bit um, overly sensitive, gets her feelings hurt. Could be someone who uh, lashes out when they think, well, guard it. They, they feel like when you say something to them that you're attacking them. And they, they lash out. This is, this is pain. This is childhood trauma and stuff is what this is. But what I have here is uh, they're feeling really, really bad. Really, really bad. And you might have blamed them for having options. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus stands alone. Libra stands alone. Aries, Leo, Sag. All signs are here. Prominent, Libra, Taurus, prominent. So your person could be a Libra, your person could be a Taurus. And let's do one more. Line four. 
Line four. I used to do lines all the time. People love them. Uh, new subscribers, let me know if you like the lines. There's many uh, things that I haven't done uh, for new subscribers yet. You're still, you're still learning. <laughs> but, uh, eventually, I'm going to bring forth all the other things that uh, we used to do when we were very small. So, lines was one of them that we did when we were very small. Let's get her on, let's get her done. But now that we're growing, let's uh, introduce you to a couple of things that we used to do. Line four, someone is getting some confidence. Oh my God, somebody's getting some confidence to, to bring in a, a decision saying, you know what, I think there's potential in this. <laughs> I got almost like a, <laughs> I got almost like a, a backwoods kind of guy here. This is how I feel. Spirit speaks. Maybe some guy with nose picker boots and <laughs> cowboy boots and a hat. But this is this is backwoods boy. Is what I'm picking up on, or a backwoods girl swinging around guys. <laughs> so. This might be a, a Daisy Duke or one of the Duke boys. <laughs> but getting their confidence, like getting up and feeling that, you know what, there's, there's some potential here for my person. And making the decision and, and thinking, you know what, this, this has got potential. But I really feel this, this cowboy backwoodsy kind of person, you know. Um, I have a Gemini here. I have Aquarius with the star. I have Gemini. So they feel like there's a potential. They're trying to make the decision. They know that this is the opportunity. They know. They know this is the opportunity. What's going on, spirit? Because um, I have to laugh because I just feel that this is a like a, a real funny kind of person, you know. They they're probably very funny, you know. They're walking around with a beer in their hand outside, and probably a campfire or you know a bonfire or something. Walking around with a beer in their hand and just <laughs> so laid back and just like. Right under the hills, you know, that kind of a person, just so funny, you know, I, I really feel that they, they really look at you as you're enriched, they, they, they're looking at you like they're very happy, and, and they're going to come forward, so if this resonates with you, go ahead, they, they want a whole brand new beginning here, they're, they're coming back, there's no doubt about that, it ended terribly, I don't know what happened here, uh, the two of you freaking got the shotguns out rather than each other or what, but <laughs> but it, it ended terribly. But now realize this is a soulmate. They're actually like realizing that this is a soulmate connection. And I really think that that there's um a woman here who may be helping them to realize that. Like maybe a friend of yours or a, a friend of both of you. There may be a woman here talking to them like, what the hell are you doing? Why did you leave? You know, and here you are sitting here feeling this painful ending. And, and they just could be dealing with the Pisces. King Neptune is here. But it's just... um. It's almost like they fight themselves to not walk away. It's like they kind of know it's over. Probably you do too. They kind of know it's over. And it was terrible for an ending. Terrible. But they fight the ending here. They're not walking away. Fighting the ending. So 
they, yeah, they're definitely coming back. Um, okay, so now we have uh, marriage or moving in together. Real estate. Let's buy a house. Move down by the creek. <laughs> you know, this this is joy. This is having kids and 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 cat dog and you know all all those wonderful things. Joy, peace, comfort, uh, real estate, and marriage. You know, but today's marriage is moving in together. And you know what? I this could be for a Pisces. This could be for a Pisces. And look at the celebration. This friggin' some good stuff coming. Is this resonating with you? I gotta know, please. If this is resonating with you, you gotta tell me. They could be a Pisces, you could be a Pisces, um, you could be a Libra, they could be a Libra. I, I've got uh, the King and the Queen of Love here. King Neptune and Queen Neptune, both of them. And what's in between the two of them? Marriage card and the Ten of Cups and Celebration. And uh, I, I think um, this is just a, a down-home guy and a down-home girl or a down... Swing it around, guys, okay? Swing it around. But you know what? The, between the two of you, I, I really don't know. There's such great love here. And I do see that the two of you are going to make it work. But I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be all honeymoon. <laughs> because there's two strong energies here. And it's just, it's, it's not going to be all honeymoon. But it's, it's going to work. It's, it's going to be good. I see it. It's going to be good. <laughs> but you don't want to mess with them country girls. And you don't want to mess with them country boys either. But that's what I have. Is that um, it's, it's really going to be good. Prominent. Gemini. Pisces, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries. That's what I got. <laughs> I love doing lines. You never know who you're going to pick up on. So, um, let's pull an angel answer card. Just in case you're wondering, well, that resonates with me. Now, what do my angels say? Let's find out what your angels have to say. Let's give them a cut. Top card. <laughs> Romance. <laughs> what a fun energy. It's really made me feel good. What a fun energy. <laughs> Thanks for joining me tonight. I'll let you know as soon as I open up for personal readings again. Uh, for those of you who have paid for personal readings, five of them went out tonight, so check your inbox. If you didn't get it, it'll be there tomorrow night for you. If i got three left, I'll finish them up tomorrow night. Get them on, get them done. So, um, love and light to you guys. Send some prayers and love and light to my daughter. And hopefully her her head injury will feel a lot better soon. Namaste. <laughs>